Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, Monday through Thursday, for my Cancers. How are you, my Cancers? Now, you know that when I am doing, when I am reading for Monday through Thursday, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. Here's my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading, and then I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. Now, I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is that needs to come through for someone out there, my job is just to deliver it. Okay, here we go. We have one, two, and three. Middle one is reversed, and that has stronger, stronger energy. Now, I want to talk, talk to you about the 27th. The 27th, we have, you know, Mercury is still retrograde, so know that. It is still retrograde, but on the 27th at 9.34 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it transitions into Libra. Now, at 9.41 Eastern Standard Time, p.m., also, Lib I'm sorry, also Venus goes into Libra. Now, so there's some, diff there's some energy there. Now remember, Libra energy has been a little bit unstable, but it's been unstable in order to create stability. But, you know, sometimes we don't like to do that. We don't want to, we still don't want to have to go through it. Okay, now, the thing that's going to be happening, now we have Libra and we, ha you know, Venus and Mercury now in Libra, Mercury retrograde, there can be some, you know, I'm calling it kind of like an emotional justice happening. So, and, and that could either be very like, yes, or it can be like, oh, oh, yes, oh, okay, oh. So, I think that we're going to see some interesting stuff around that 27th, 28th, 29th, okay? So, just, hey, it is what it is. We will get through this now. Three cards are face down. Again, middle card. Let's see what Monday through Thursday looks like for my Cancers. First card up is the Seven of Gabriel. Okay, well, you are going to be you are going to be on fire. You are you know. But the thing is, I feel like you've got you've got like you've got the holy fire behind you. Remember, sevens have a uh, sevens have a divine type of energy going on. And you know, this Mercury retrograde. You know, Scorpio doesn't want to keep secrets and Libra is got is like no we have to have justice we have to have justice even if it upsets the table we have to have justice and my cancers I feel like you're going to be feeling it and you're going to be you're going to be like just blowing through it you're just going to be blowing through it and you're just going to be like you know so somebody gives you a lie you're going to you're going to respond with a fact okay and you're, you know, this is going to be one of those times, again, my cancers, where you, and because you do this, you do this, it's not something you like to do, but it is something you are more than capable of doing it. You're, you know, you, you're going to be, you know, your fighting spirit is going to be coming through. I don't hear you. I don't see you screaming or yelling. In fact, I feel like you've got a lot of that air energy, and that's probably going to be with Libra. You've got that air energy around you. And it's like, you know, your brain is going to be like this, okay? It's going to be so sharp. And again, I talked about that new moon, you know, that Libra new moon, kind of like cutting, cutting like a knife. And that's going to be, that's going to be what this is all about. Anyway, Gabriel is fire energy. It is Aries. Now we do have that Aries and um, Mars thing going on. So that's going to be some fuel for your fire too. And then we have, it's going to be Leo, and it's also Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, but very, very determined. Anyway, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Okay, next card. This one is reversed. Here we go. The Empress. The Empress. Now, this is Archangel Gabriel. Remember what I've been telling you lately. Write down these Archangel's names when they pop up for you. Because there's something, you know, there's a reason for that. Reach out to them. Look them up on the internet. Find out everything you can. Now, the Empress, 
you know, the Empress, I look at that as, a, as like the universe. The Empress is about fertility. The Empress is about giving, the universe giving. Remember, I've talked about Mercury retrograde as the universe giving. And so there's something like the universe wants to um, make right, okay, make right a wrong. It, you know, that Libra, y you see where I'm going with all this. All of this, this is a week for you to really, again, Connect higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. Also, Archangel Gabriel. This is one where, you know, the seven, Archangel Gabriel, the planetary influences that I talked about, there's a lot of things that's going to be extremely spiritual. We're coming to that thinning of the veil, the 31st, and that full moon. Lots and lots of energy, and it's going to be, I really feel like it's, again, it's going to be fuel for the fire. It's going to be fuel for your fire but I don't, you know, so you, there can be some, um, you know, there can, I'm not going to say you're not going to be emotional, but you're going to, you're going to harness that emotions. You're harnessing the emotions. And I almost feel like, remember when we see the chariot, then, you know, I know that he doesn't have the reins in his hands, but I feel like you're, you're driving the chariot. I feel like you have, I feel like this is going to be an extremely powerful week for you, my cancers. Anyway, remember write down Archangel Gabriel's name. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. And your last card here, the High Priestess. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interest. You've got a lot of divine energy right here, my Cancer. A lot of divine energy. I mean, you know, use it, utilize it. I mean, they're, you know, the divine energy is saying, all you need to do is call. And I mean, there's really strong stuff going on. I've talked about the veil. So we've talked about a lot of the things going on. The high priestess, Archangel Peniel. Now, this is, again, you are very, very connected with the moon energies in itself. I mean, and that's very scientific. And you are cancer, the moon child or the moon baby. But you're, no, you're, 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 you're more grown up now. But Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. And that's how you can harness this. That's why you are able to harness this. That's why when everyone around you is getting emotional, you just sit back with a little smile on your face and go, and you know, every time you hear that lie, you've got a fact. You don't laugh in their faces, but you can laugh internally. Or you can have the laughter come in your eyes. I don't know, but it's just it's just really cool. Very, very powerful week for you, my cancers. Anyway, wow. I mean, I'm feeling really a lot of strength for you. Now, let's go on. Now, this one, now, let's go on. Let's go on. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one definitely flew out. Here we go. Here we go. Again, fire energy. Pages are those ones that, um, you know, they, they're ready to jump in and they have so much confidence. They don't know what they don't know and, they, and they're okay with that. They live on trust. Now, pages in itself too have a work, underlining work energy or I should say an earth energy. So this is, you know, this, this could be something to do with work, earth, money, you know, something to do with that earth energy. And, well, it will be something to do with the earth energy. It could be work, money. It could be, you know, something to do with home also. But this is just getting in there and just doing what you need to do. And like I said, very powerful week for you. Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. Remember I talked about that little smile in your eyes? You know, just, you may not want to chuckle in, in their faces, but inside you are. Or you should be. You should be. My cancers, if you find yourself getting that emotional, take a step back and, you know, emotional in that, in a, you know, in a thing that's more, in a, a way that's more harmful for you, take a step back and just look at the situation. You've got them against the ropes. Okay? They're against the ropes right now. The, you know, I, I'm feeling this very strongly, you know, again, this divine power for you. Anyway. Outgoing, mischievous, competent, mischie um, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. You know, again, you know, it, it's kind of like one of those things that um, my money's on you. My money's on you, Cancers. Okay? Okay. Wow. Re really strong stuff. Anyway, 
If you like my readings, please like, share, subscribe. It does help. And it's kind of just press. Anyway, my Cancers, as always, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.